One part of this energy solution, but a very important part, are these power stations. Utilizing Pretoria West and Royval to generate as much uh, electricity as we can, independent of ESCOM. But crucially, we don't have the capital and the creditworthiness as a city to do that by ourselves. Tom also referred to the fact that, unfortunately, the procurement rules and regulations of government do not deliver the best value. So even if we had the money, there are so many leaks in the pipeline. And so this partnership with the private sector is absolutely essential. We are an enabling government. We can't pretend to be a controlling government. So on the 12th of September this year, the City Council, with cross-party support, approved a public participation process for the proposed 40-year lease of the Royval and Pretoria West power stations to the private sector in terms of Regulation 35 of the Municipal Asset Transfer Regulations. The City Manager and Tom uh, discussed the details of that, and what is important is at the end of that, there will be a competitive process. There has to be a competitive process. If we skip the competitive process, we might be locked into something resembling the failure that we've seen in so many other parts of our supply chain system. Together with the other measures that the Energy Task Team has recommended to the Mayoral Committee, we aim to secure by procurement and generation at least a thousand megawatt of electricity independent of ESCOM in the next three years. That is, of course, very ambitious, but it is achievable. In fact, we must achieve it if we are to maintain a measure of competitiveness in comparison with other cities, in particular uh, the city of Cape Town that is already very far advanced on this road. So the power stations will be the generation part of that formula, but we'll also release a request for proposals to procure electricity from IPPs, and that focus will largely be as clean and as green energy as the economies of scale can currently deliver. Tom has provided an analysis of the potential of the power stations, and I want to say that once we devise that, once we've gone through all of these regulatory steps and we do the offer to the market, there might be even potential for more, depending on the available investment in the private sector. But it's always best to be upfront conservative and then down the line you can say we overshot on our ambitions. The infrastructure at Royval has been explained is substantially uh, intact, and that will be coal-fired. Pretoria West, we're not going to use the copy-and-paste solution for Royval at Pretoria West. We can't. Uh, Pretoria West is probably the best candidate for cleaner energy, and it currently provides an inlet into the grid and has been explained in close proximity to an existing industrial area. Yes, that industrial area is run down, but there's enough left there uh, to, to feed the potential of Pretoria West, and of course, that industrial area will benefit greatly from the investment.